It's good to be with you this morning, and we have been talking about the dark and the light for a long time, and today I'm going to veer away from that a little bit, and uh, just to mention uh, the context of my talk today, I will say that in the scriptures it does say, in nothing be anxious, and yet I will say to you that most of my clients have experienced anxiety and anxiety is a very disturbing state of being and it is something that it seems like some people have and some people don't but the reality is that there are things that we can do to control our anxiety and there are things that we can do to understand our anxiety for instance if you change your thoughts about something, your emotions will change. For our example that we use most often in my therapy, there is the idea of you're walking into a checkout in a grocery store and you're checking out with your groceries and someone bumps into the back of you and immediately you feel how careless that they ran their cart into the back of me and you whirl around to look and you, when you look you see someone with a white cane and all of a sudden your thoughts change about it this man must be blind is blind and your emotions that follow are one more of compassion than of the initial maybe outrage or at least irritation so that is the premise of much of cognitive behavioral therapy, which is not what is my specialty, but is something that is often used with anxiety. And that is, if you change your thoughts, your emotions will follow. For instance, if you have a bad day at work and you maybe do something that is not quite up to par, you may think I'll be fired tomorrow. And that is very black and white thinking. Anxiety is often based on black and white thinking. The person is either going to die or they're going to live. There are no shades of gray that the person may uh, experience some discomfort or some, um, I guess I would say, um, parts of an accident, like if someone is out on a boat and they have to swim into shore. There are adventures that people do that involve some kind of minor uh, trouble and the anxious person has made a catastrophe of that and has in their mind organized that that person is going to die with that adventure. So that describes for us the state of anxiety and what I would like to focus a little bit on is what you can do about anxiety. Most people who come into my practice who have anxiety are pretty resistant to doing techniques that help with anxiety and sometimes anxiety is biochemical and in that case I often refer to one of my very respected uh, psychiatrists to handle medication. Oops. But I would like to say that short of medication, there are some techniques that you can follow. One is the breath. And breathing is certainly popular today among all sorts of growth groups, of um, meditation groups, of mindfulness groups and it deals with anxiety too and that is to take the breath in through the nose focusing right on where the breath and the air comes in and let it out through the mouth if you do that for five minutes your anxiety will decrease amazingly quick it will decrease. It may not take take all of it away. 
Another thing to do is to imagine a light coming into your top of your head and going through each part of your body, relaxing it and making every single part of your muscle structure relaxed down into your abdomen, through your thighs and out your legs and then back around to the top of your head and circling with a blue light. And just doing that for about five minutes will tend to relax you and have an effect on your anxiety. So unless your anxiety is clinical, and that is unless it needs biochemical regulation, I would suggest that you pick up a book on techniques of dealing with anxiety and experiment with those techniques. And in my article today, I have written a few of those techniques down. And if you try those, and you want to make some comments about whether they worked for you, after the video, there is space underneath for making comments. I had talked about providing space. And so after this, after my talk here, you will find that there are some places for comments underneath. And I'd love to hear if your anxiety decreases uh, by using some of the techniques that are being described in this morning's session. And next week, I will be probably talking about depression, which is the second most frequent uh, presenting issue that people come into my uh, practice with. So, uh, so long this morning, and I will see you next week.